Welcome back to the Wastelands with another episode of Fallout 4. This is Phone Zone 01, and to kind of give a frame of reference on how far ahead I am in terms of recording, um, the first episode and the second and the uh, character creation episode released today, actually, yesterday. Uh, so, um, no, actually, no, they came out today, um, January 3rd, um, and I'm probably maybe 15 or more episodes in, yeah, um, in other news, one, uh, kind of downloaded another mod, it's supposed to kind of fix some of the stuff around here, um, We've done a bit of exploring, kind of checked out up here. Um, actually, we are at the point with um, Preston that we're supposed to go to a place called the castle that they got kicked out because some sea monster attacked it. Um, gonna have to fix the mod that I have here that's brighter. Yeah, not quite what I wanted. Um, but. You know, we found a power armor, we explored Fort Hagen down here. Uh, I ended up doing a bit over at the police station. Um, kind of started that. I did not go with them or anything. Um, but I think today we are going to start and we are going to go to Good Neighbor. Yeah, because this is the one. Let's talk to Preston. Um, thinks it's time to minimum to retake the castle. Apparently, we've gotten so big, we need to do stuff and get ready. Uh, okay, we've been over towards Good Neighbor. Um, I think the bookstore will be a good style point. Um, also, upgrades in weapon and armor. I ended up finding a whole bunch of stuff. We are now in combat armor. Um, and we need to level up. Besides, you know, how much we have already. Uh, blacksmith before we can make it better. Because technically it's weaker than the metal. I got rid of the metal. Because um, this thing actually has it has better energy resistance. Or reserve. I, I don't know what the energy symbol is for. Oh god. Oh, radiation storm. Lovely. Okay, um. Come on, Piper. We need to hurry up inside. Good neighbors. Ow! Bad dog! Dog is dead. You know, of all the things that happen, that was not it. Okay, let's... Get inside, good neighbor. Let's go find Nikki. Nikki Valentine. Figure out what this place is. Um... I don't know if I already mentioned it, but I noticed in kind of looking over some of the stuff, some hey, of the parts. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Huh? You better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Piper not oh, hey. like that. All right. We'll just say yeah, Piper didn't like that. Up for now, okay? whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Sorry, Piper. Gate the first time? They're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you See, care? he was extorting us. us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Go, oh, God! Why would you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over. I think you broke his heart. That old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Um. 
I'm fine. Thanks for okay. taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people. A community? For the people. You feel me? Like Everyone a settlement. Welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. Well, me nice. Stay cool. I mean, he just murdered a guy right in front of us. So long as you remember who's in charge. Probably not a good idea to antagonize him. Um. We need to go this back way. And right here, memory den. Okay. Oh my god, how radiated them. Wow, those radiation storms are hefty. Um we might need to get some radiation resistant stuff going. Uh we will in fact actually take a rat away right now. Uh, uh, it's just a bottle. It's no fun. Um, do I have any? Do another one. Yes. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten me about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Um. Uh, Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Okay. Nick. Let's go talk to Amari. Okay. Is she like the picture girl for this place? I don't understand. This is weird. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Probably not. Um. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari. Okay. But it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, how long have I been out here? I even label the fact that I'm insane. Simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. Something? That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Okay. Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. It does, that seems like kind of a poor design. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. No sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue. Injecting How does that work? Compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. Similar there parts? There be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. This seems like it could backfire any single way. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Is it? Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? We can try. Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any you just find his in your cognitive functions could be dying. I was feeling any different. There's a lot of flashes. 
static. I, 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 we'll grab I that after this. Of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears is that even a word? One last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Okay. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Okay, I'm a little more worried about it Nick is, than the memory. We can find an alternate route. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But... What if we use two? We load both you and the How does that work? The memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Um. All, all right. right. Let's, Let's do this. I, I was looking. At, I don't think sarcastic is the right answer right this second. That. Is not a reassuring. Also, the last time I was put into a pod, um, we remember what happened, right? Um, Ruby, are we sure this is a bright idea? <laughs> Do we not want to get like? Should we regret this decision immediately? We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Um, I think stableness would be very important. I'd like stable to be very important. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one so that gives we're us some clue to the institute's location. Neurons? There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I mean... <gasps> Comic books! Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove... No, that's Kellogg. He claims it's me, but I'm female, so that can't be me. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Um. <gasps> My baby? It's gonna. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No. I nope. Let's never keep deserved looking. her. I'll connect you. I mean, having a daughter? Son. No, we have a son. So, I mean, that can't be it. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Um. He has hair. <laughs> you well, maybe he joined at a very young us, age. And we wouldn't fuck with you. Well. Just so you know. That's nice. They died like dogs. And you. You killed this dog? There to help them. Or okay. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Walking on the synapse trail. A bar. I could use a drink. Do you have a drink? I will take a drink. Mind if we uh, sit down? Sit yourself. <gasps> Institute members hiding in camouflage. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. For liquor! If you pay me. With liquor? Oh, we'll pay you. With liquor. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. For liquor? We pay you. I'm assuming, I mean, there's a sign that says liquor, so I assume that's, that's forms of payment. So who do you Bottled want liquor with a well, bottle cap. It's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Uh, we live down a creek. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Okay, this apparently not a. Oh, well, maybe it could have been us. We don't know the timing. He could have lived through the event and not turned into a ghoul. Um. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided. Institute to agent. Okay, yeah, this is so, definitely it. You're with the institute. 
I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. I can't jump Maybe off. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disrupted. We started their operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that? Killing you? We I did that. For you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. His metal I armor. <gasps> he's got bald and a scar. He has a scar and he's bald. Other way around. Very well. B seven forty eight. Initiate. All right, which one's B seven forty eight? Were you B seven forty eight? I have to question, did I actually just take something from his memory? We'll find out when we get out. It's like, wait a minute, do I have an institute rifle on me? Ah, uh, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. No, I don't want to go back here. In my happy place, in my happy place, in my happy place, in my happy place. Hopefully it's all just find it. Wait, there was a second person? Down the hall near I remember the chick, I don't remember you. And what's with the face mask? Wait, you only look out of one eye? That doesn't make Oh sh that's not. This is the one. Here. Open it. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Is it okay? almost? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Is it? Come here. No, come here, baby. Wait. No, I got him. Let the boy go. Ah, uh, that doesn't look fine. I don't remember this being what orientation was. I don't actually remember orientation. Go. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. I'm glad you're dead. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Do I freeze? What's the hold up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. I found another intact memory. Let's never do that again. I was trying to find my happy place. Then there was a gunshot. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news. Define I recent. What about Piper? Kellogg. Oh, ah! One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? As in? He's gone um, wrong. Names Dr. Brian Virgil. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. That doesn't sound good. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. They are. Capture. Wait, how do you know? Just elimination. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. That doesn't sound no good. Kidding. So apparently my kid takes force. after me in terms of yeah. hair. So I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Okay. Taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold Um still. Okay. Your father's dead. Hmm. 
X688. Ready to relay with Sean. That has to have a double meaning. That kid grew up all good and nice. Bye. That's kind of good. Now it all makes sense. No, it doesn't. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. There has to be. How'd they build the place? Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. How can there not be an entrance? They had to build it somehow. Honestly, you people make no sense. Slow movements, okay? I'm out of the pod. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had? No one's ever done this before. Okay. How do you feel? Um. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. Wait, Boyd Valentine. Like, wait, did Piper like something? Monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you okay. ready to talk about what happened in there? Um. There's more than one person who okay. knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. Can they? This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Can he? Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there. Are you Not sure? Hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? That yeah. The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive okay. hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's Fun. That doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Um. That's why he's there. Do yeah. the Institute think twice about following I have my black ring glasses on. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. Is it if really Virgil an advantage? If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I do that? I'm so... How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A so, like, go in with nothing but that? If you could find one. That'd or be nice. maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. Okay, so we're not going to... Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking. But as a doctor, <laughs> I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. I'm very tempted to actually go in and do that just to see what happens. So be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, okay. unplug Mr. Valentine first. Remove the okay. implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Awesome. Well, you mentioned Rad X. What? Hey, shoot. Okay. Captain duct tape. Take the stun packs. Stun packs and right away, because we apparently you claim we need a lot of it. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Oh, I can definitely find a good use for it. Wonder glue. That's useful. I mean, if it's not nailed down, I'm taking it. That, that's the rules. Robo fun. Yeah. Includes the Grungnack the Barbarian Hollow Tape game. Buff tats, dirty water. Okay, let's go talk to Nikki. Nicky Valentine. There he is. How you are, Nick? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? 
What are you talking about? You You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mark said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. That's anyway, probably not fire, good. So let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City since you've got company already. Okay, Piper. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. All right. You. Hey, where? So you found a minute for me yet? Is something up? Is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just okay. What you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Okay. He's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's okay. just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Quit pitying yourself. You've got a home, a job, your sister. Things aren't that bad. No, you're right. I just never expected it all to cost so much. Um, I mean, you have a job that pays for it. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That doesn't That's sound it. secure. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Lovely. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Seriously? One bookcase, not even 17. <laughs> no, but now... Now you can't even tell where the hole was. Good. Brick, real mortar, the works. All because of the paper. When that first edition of the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot Lovely. Of they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. Lovely. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're Lovely. not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you. For being the friend I can count on. Um, we're gonna try. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean. <laughs> Whoa, it worked! Lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Well, I mean, you've been traveling with me. I have, do I look any different? Um. You don't need to be flawless, Piper. We'll be nice. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well. Hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know okay. what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. All right. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Piper, you've gained Gift of Garb perk. Huh. Sleeping while you have romantic companion nearby, a lover's embrace perk. What does this do? Gift of Garb. Thanks to your relationship with Piper, you receive double XP for speech challenge and discovering new locations. Huh. Okay, I have 
I <laughs> have my black rim sunglasses on. <laughs> and <laughs> the Toby hat. That's why my perception. That's why my charisma check's been going good. Oops. Um. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um. We'll keep them for now. Can we, like. Oh, no, just that stuff that we can take. Okay. Um. But. Actually, let's talk to her. Hey, you say mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Sure. Whoa! No. Yes, that is. Your thoughts? You know, you are some kind of dedicated. I wouldn't want to share a beer with Kellogg, let alone a brain. Yeah. Your thoughts? What did I ever do to deserve you? That's all for now. Okay. That was not as helpful as I wanted it to be. Um, but we need to go to the glowing sea. I think the best plan would be power armor and see what we can do with it. In the meantime, I think we'll go and meet Deacon. So let's, excuse me, pop out, <laughs> teleport ourselves over. Want to get out of here? I don't think we'd make pretty ghouls. Probably not. Okay, um, over towards just north of here. <laughs> 